Picture a city street. On one side, people are walking, going somewhere with goals and dreams. Some are working, like the ones who pause to shake hands over a business deal. Some are shopping, like the wealthy banker stopping to buy flowers for his wife. A young woman entrepreneur pauses at a corner, unsure whether to turn. And then an accident victim in a wheelchair speeds along. The sun is shining on this side. The other side is shadowed. People there are loitering and heckling across the street. The two sides of this imaginary street represent the great divide that Ayn Rand saw in human life. Living life well, achieving the success and happiness it offers requires purpose and thought. Purpose to achieve our values and especially to create value through productive work. Work is not just a means of earning money. It's the way to sustain your life as an independent person, to make a difference in the world, and to experience the pride of creation. That's true at any level, from the floor a janitor has swept clean to a world-changing invention. And thought, every job takes thought, again from the lowest to the highest. The use of our unique human asset can be joyful, but using it is a choice. Those on the shady side feel diminished by those on the other side. They have come to feel unequal to the challenge of rationality, independence, and achievement. And that resentment curdles into malice and envy. Don't confuse envy with jealousy. Perhaps I'm jealous of the time my wife spends talking to men or jealous of my siblings for receiving so much attention from our parents. That's a painful and ugly thing to feel. Shakespeare called jealousy the green-eyed monster. Jealousy is a worry about losing what you have, but envy is a much uglier, more monstrous thing, a malignant tumor in the soul. Envy is wanting what others have and a bitterness at others for having more, well, anything beauty, money, success. It is a purely destructive emotion, a desire for others' loss rather than one's own gain. It is what Ayn Rand described as hatred of the good for being good. On the one side, life, purpose, achievement, joy. On the other, fear, resentment, and malice. Which side of the street do you walk on?